Super Bowl weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada. You are looking live at the Mandalay Bay Resort, all lit up and ready to host UFC 46 Supernatural. We are rocking inside the Mandalay Bay Event Center. UFC 46 brought to you by Miller Lights. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome to our first ever Saturday of mixed martial arts action here in the world famous Ultimate Fighting Championship. Tonight, two of the most decorated champions in UFC history go up against two men who many of us believe should have been world champions a long time ago. In the welterweight division, it will be potentially his sixth title defense. Matthew, so dangerous, so dominant, that we had to bring somebody up from a lesser weight. BJ Penn, thinking about a chance to win to and another championship on the card tonight controlled force across the chest of our five-time welterweight champion Matt Hughes so confident so strong so big so dynamic BJ Penn very cerebral in his approach in fact when I spoke to BJ Penn this week I was surprised when I asked him about his continued quest to win a belt to win a world championship which he dearly wanted for so many years and was unable to get. He said, you know what, Mike? Not anymore is it about that. It's about entertaining. It's about people like Chuck Norris here tonight seeing me go against who is right now Matt Hughes, the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. So who will be the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world? We know one thing. That is one bad man, Chuck Norris. Speaking of men taking care of bad men, let's check in with Joe Rogan. Thanks, Mike. I'm here with uh, Don and Tony from Controlled Force. Guys, why don't you tell me a little bit, what is Controlled Force? Control Force is a law enforcement training system that's being utilized by the federal law enforcement and military personnel across the country. And why are you guys here at the UFC? Well, Control Force right now, what we're doing is we're looking for some of the best trainers around, and you guys have them. You guys have the best fighters. We're looking for a hybrid communication between law enforcement and the UFCs. If we keep going like this, seeing the fights we're out here today, I mean, come on, these guys are animals. They train every day in this stuff. Who better than to tap their resources and use them for law enforcement? So you guys are using the techniques of mixed martial arts to save lives and, and to help law enforcement officers secure uh, criminals and get them down and control them. And it's uh, all about research and development. We're here because the UFC is providing the greatest fighters and the greatest trainers the world has ever seen. And we're going to tap into those resources. If it saves one life, that's what it's all about. Not only that, we got we got three of the guys right now, Matt, uh, Pat Militage, Matt Hughes, and Tony Fricklin. They're national instructors for us right now. They're, they're, they're going to Lackland to train with us. Well, law enforcement has always used martial arts for training, and mixed martial arts have evolved martial arts now to the point where we know exactly what works and what doesn't, and what better place to utilize that than in law enforcement. You got it. Absolutely. Well, I congratulate you guys. Good luck in your efforts. Thank you, Thank you very much for being here. All right. Back to you, Mike. Joe, thank